Hi, this is Gary Gopharb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're in a salesy mood because our quote of the day is, Timid Salesmen Have Skinny Kids by Zig Ziglar. Nobody likes to be sold. But sales ability distinguishes superstars from all of the rest of the people. In effect, everybody is a salesperson because you are always selling something. You may be selling yourself to a prospective spouse, or you may be selling your house, you may be selling your products. You are always in the business of selling something to someone. Therefore, selling is a very important skill set that must be learned and developed for success in all fields of life. The best way to develop this skill set is through practice. The young child selling lemonade at their lemonade stand is learning to sell a product. The young child who wants to walk your dog is selling their skills to people. And the young babysitter is selling their, themselves as a reliable person to a parent in need. We are always selling something. And the faster you understand this, the more time you have to practice this crucial skill set to get you far. When you know how to bring in big clients, followers, or believers in you, then you win. Self-promoting people are the people who define their fields, even if there are people who may be better at doing what they are doing or even smarter than they are. It is the better self-promoter and the better salesperson who will win in the end. Everything that advances this world is a result of persuasion. The world is secretly driven by sales. It always has been and always will be because sales is basically persuasion. And when you can sell something or someone, then you have brought them over to your side. And if they like what you have sold them, then they stay as a believer. And when you have believers, then you can influence many more people and you will have more impact in this world. You may be surprised to learn that it is not the best product that always wins. It is the best distributed and the most sold product that will win. Widespread adoption can only happen through widespread sales. You should plan how to sell your product before you even create it. It must be part of the business plan. Sales and marketing are just as important as the development of a product because if you have a viable product but no one will buy it, or know about it, then it is deemed worthless. You must also know how to sell yourself to other people. This is what politicians do, and the best salesperson will win the elections, whether we like it or believe it or not. A good sales and distribution effort for a product can monopolize a market, even when there is no product differentiation. But even if there is significant differentiation between products and a product is distinctly better than another product, it will not be able to monop monopolize the market if not many people buy it or if no one has even heard of it. A strong distribution plan is vital for the success of any business. How will you sell and distribute your product? How will you sell and distribute your knowledge? How will you, will you sell and distribute your worthiness to other people. Everything you are saying is actually a sales pitch, either a good one or a bad one. One of the best ways to grow as a person is to develop the skill set of selling by simply selling something. I call it uh, sales a skill set because in order to make a sale, so many skills come together. You must have patience, you must have a good will, you must, have, you must be an active listener, and you must understand people. You must have also belief in your product and hope. You must also have self-esteem and believe in yourself and your abilities to sell. You must also be assertive and creative and knowledgeable on your subject and on the subject of human behavior. Therefore, I call selling a skill set. A person who may find that they're not good at selling, will need to improve one or more of these skills to become better at selling. The more you sell, the better you become at it. 
You need to know how to connect with, with other people, with the buyer or with the audience. And you know how to deliver and close the deal. This is selling. So how do you become better at selling? Well, there are seven steps that I will now talk about. Number one, you must first overcome fear. The, su the success you are seeking in sales cannot come when you are afraid. You must be able to pick yourself up even after you fail and keep trying and not give up. Learn to get over your fear of talking to strangers as well by talking to as many people as possible. Talk to people in line, in line to the supermarket, in the post office line, or wherever line, whatever line you're waiting in with other people. Open up small talk, even in a public toilet. You, while washing your hands, you can start a, so, a small conversation with someone. This will increase your openness and help you increase your self-assuredness as well. I would even recommend trying to speak in front of a crowd whenever you can. Give a toast to a friend around a table full of people. State your opinion in class. Talk on a stage whenever you have the opportunity. The more you do it, the better public speaking you will become and the better you will become at connecting with other people. Stand in front of a crowd and talk about your own experiences. This will give you confidence and you will also enjoy the experience. Overcome your fear of talking with strangers and you will have completed the first step in becoming a better salesperson. To sell more, you also need to get in front of more people. The internet and social media are great ways to get in front of the masses. My friend went on 147 dates before she found her perfect match. And without the dating apps that are available today, she could have never gotten in front of so many people. She went on dates until she found a few that she wanted to close with. <laughs> close the deal, uh, so to speak. And it worked with one, and now they are happily married. The same is true for business sales. You need to get in front of as many people as you can with your ideas and your products. For this, you must first advertise and then get in front of people or talk with them and then you can persuade and make the sale and get the result that you desire while also giving the result to your buyer that they desire. Time is very important, so in any given time, try to see as many people as possible. The third step to become better at sales is to keep records of your sales, your sales calls, your, your dates, your pitches, keeping records is very important as it shows you how your efforts advance you. Uh, records can also show you what you are doing good and what you are doing wrong or that can be improved. It is also important to study these records frequently and to check to see if there's a guiding line in these uh, records. The fourth step to improving your sales is uh, one of the most important things of great ma salesmanship, and that is finding out what the other person wants and then helping, it, helping that person get it through you or your products. Always focus on what the other person wants. Try to find out what other people want and help them get it. Be of authentic service. People need what you have to offer or your products. They need it. You created your products to sell them, not to hoard them for yourself. When talking to a prospective client, don't talk about what you want. Get into their shoes and hear what they want. It is good to know that you can only get a person to do something if it is what they want to do. There is no other way. Ask yourself, what do your clients want? What do your clients need? Do they need more time, more health, uh, better looks, more happiness, more connections? And can you deliver uh, such a thing through your products or services? If yes, then this is your selling point. When you show a person what they want and you show them that, they, that you have the answer, they will actually move heaven and earth to get it from you. Now, just as with anything in life, you also want to come prepared. And this is the fifth step towards becoming better at sales. Know what you are doing. Know your points. What are your key issues? And what is the most important issue for your clients or followers? When you are prepared, this gives you confidence. Seneca said that luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. 
This is perfectly put. When you are always prepared to make the sale, when you are always selling yourself by walking your talk, then you will be a great salesperson. Rehearse and also improve yourself always. The sixth step towards making, becoming better at sales is asking questions. Put your ideas into a question. Don't behave as if all of the answers, you have them, as if you know all the answers. Instead, ask questions. This is the way that they, your client, comes up with the idea or the solution to their problem themselves. Questions help people think things through. Questions also prevent unnecessary talk. And by asking questions, you show respect towards other people by taking interest in their opinions. A good salesperson is really just an assistant to the buyer. They help the person buy by letting the buyer see things from a different perspective, from a more fuller perspective. By asking questions, you understand the basic needs of your buyer and the person or the person uh, that you want to influence, and you find their main point of interest. You understand them more fully by asking why questions and listening actively. This way, you understand their needs and how you can support their needs. The next step towards becoming better at sales, the seventh step, is closing the deal. Uh, which is of utmost importance. During the close of any deal, you want to summarize the advantages of your product or of yourself quickly and to the point. Ask them how they feel about it. If someone shows you any kind of objectives to your product or your sale or towards you, then know that they are showing an interest. Then you can ask them more questions to help you understand their reasons for, for their objections. Objections show an interest. They really do. They want you to show them how they can get it, get your product or get what you, the service that you are offering or get whatever you are offering. And they want to know how they can overcome their objections. The type of questions that you want to ask are why questions. These will give you their reasons, which you can answer and push them to make the right choice for themselves. A sale should always happen when both sides win. A sale must be win-win. When both sides are happy, then the sale is a success, which will generally generate more sales. Keep your integrity and be 100% honest while selling as well. It is better to stay honest and miss the deal because you gain anyway. Even if you don't close the sale, you got the practice to make you better at be sure that your offer can fix your client's pain points. Be truthful and you will always be happy. Also, always close at the right time. Never appear over anxious and never delay the close. Both of them can harm the customer. They either push the customer to do something that they still do not fully understand the benefit of them for them, or they lose out an opportunity to benefit themselves when you don't close. Never be shy of making the sale. You must push the result that you know is good for the client and is also good for you. It will keep you in business so that you can provide for many more other customers the value that you offer. Now, since selling is such a complex skill set, I recommend putting in the effort to read books on the subject from time to time. Do not neglect this critically important skill set and you will um, be well on your way to more impact and more fulfillment in your life. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the question will help move your life to a better place for you. So the question of the day is, am I doing the best for my clients and my audience by offering them whatever I can to help them improve their lives? If you are, then wonderful. But if you are not because you fear selling, then it's time to change your attitude about selling and start improving this vital skill set. As usual, I recommend writing this question and your answer in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them from time to time and see how you are improving your life. The affirmation to finish this video off with is my primary goal is to solve my problem clients' problems, so I actively listen to them and help them solve their pain points to my, and show them that I care. 
my primary goal is to solve my clients' problems. So I actively listen to them and solve their pain points and I show them that I care. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do, especially before a sale, so that it will enter your subconscious mind and become a natural default behavior for you. So thank you very much for joining me here today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website, thegorillediet.com to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.